internet, welcome to Destination Jackson. I am Jackson, this week from snowy and cold Oslo, Norway. I'm stood in front of this sculpture park of a name that I won't try to pronounce because I'll screw it up. Instead, you'll see it right here on the screen and it's gonna be great. It's apparently, according to my Uber driver, one of the few things worth seeing in Oslo. Every statue is completely naked. Pretty uncomfortable. I don't know why they needed to be naked. They don't look like they're representing ancient civilizations. They definitely had clothes when these sculptures are based. They're pretty sculptures, but again, just a little uncomfortable. Jeremy and I are big fans of horror films. Yes. We've seen a lot of the human centipedes, all yeah. of them in fact. Oh. <laughs> and now, Jeremy, yes. we've seen Human Centipede 4. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Why is that you there? Didn't ruin it, Jackson. You it didn't wasn't ruin it. ruined to begin with. Oh. It's like 500 naked bodies, some of them are babies, piled on top of each other into a dildo shape. But but they don't look sad. Well, say it over and over again, it's a beautiful park, it's a gorgeous area, but there's just so much unnecessary nudity. Every sculpture is naked. They even have wire sculptures on gates, and those people are naked too. They don't discriminate. I'll give them credit for that. Um, they have old people, they have young people, they have children that are naked. They make me the most uncomfortable, I think. But this piece over my shoulder, that's my favorite. The, the crane. <laughs> because it's not a naked human. We've taken to admiring the nature of it all mm -hmm. instead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the trees and the snow, that's all beautiful. The sun. The sun. <laughs> We came to a statue park and then admired that thing that's always in our day. The uh -huh. sun. It's the same everywhere. Yeah. I think from, from here we find something better to do. Colder. Colder? Yeah, with more alcohol. <sighs> yep. We've made our way to the Magic Ice Bar in downtown Oslo. If you're ever in Norway, near Oslo, do yourself a favor and come here. The entire place is made of ice. Ice sculptures, ice walls, ice bar, ice glasses. It's a very cool experience. It's not very expensive. It's a little bit, but you're paying for the novelty of it all. We have the place to ourselves because it's like 3 p.m. on a Monday, Tuesday. Not important. I want to give you a better feel of all of this place. It's pretty awesome. We have claimed this room as our own for the ice bar. They said they have um, murals on the walls behind the ice, but they said the artist and I don't remember. It's whoever did the scream, because they have the scream face too. I'll look it up and then it'll be here. Um, there's this alien looking dude in the corner and that's why I picked it. He looks like Slenderman. Do you know Slenderman? How's the beverage? I don't drink, so I don't know. Coral gets two. Yay! I can't imagine it full of people. Is that weird? Maybe like an event, like someone gets yeah. together. Like oh, okay. I would like rent out this space. Yeah. Do you think it would be better in the summer? Yes. <laughs> like it was cold as hell outside. We stepped into the lobby like, yes, warm, and then came back here and it's probably the same temperature. <laughs> this is probably one of the coolest bars I've ever been to. Yeah. Coolest. Get it? <laughs> cool. Ice bar. <laughs> Keep doing it. We also got these awesome Magic Ice brand ponchos and gloves that we have to return at the end. But we get to wear them for now, and damn, we make them look good.
Thanks for checking out this week's video. Come back same time, same place next week to check out another video for my travels around the world. I'm going for a very modest seven likes on this video, so give a thumbs up for the ice bar and weird naked statues. Of course, you can always find me on Twitter and Instagram. Check out a video on the screen, and I'll see most of you next week.